Back now. Snakes. He's in. Michael Vick races in for the touchdown. Hurts made it look easy. He is special. And the Eagles will remain the only undefeated team in the National Football League. We're in the heart of the city at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. I mean, I'll say this, this room right now is historic. You guys represent Philly royalty, and there's a couple guys that, that aren't here right now that I know you looked up to, one being Randall Cunningham. Yeah, I think for Randall, you know, that's before my time. Probably, I know y'all probably watched him play a bit, but man, like, just, you know, I go, I go work out, you know what I'm saying? I go work out and have a TV in there. And I'm either, I kid you not, I, I turn on <laughs> Randall Cunningham highlights, I turn on Fire highlights, and I turn on Vic highlights. Like, I turn all those highlights on, and it kind of gets me going, and AI, uh, and you Michael go. Jordan, too. Yeah, yeah, but uh, <laughs> I turn all them highlights on, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a true motivation um, in me watching them. Right. Um, and then seeing how, seeing how they all played the game, you know what I'm saying? Randall was the first, the... I mean, one of a kind. He was before his time. This definitely a surreal moment just to, you know, be here sitting with Jalen after we do his thing in Donovan. You know, who I, uh, you know, I idolized him, you know, growing up. He was, he was the guy that I wanted to pattern my game after. And just to have a chance to put on that Eagles uniform uh, in, in 2010, it really meant a lot to me. You know, the thing that when, when you think of Philly, obviously they go through those chains of the Randos, then they'll go straight to me. What Rodney was in between Randall and myself, what Rodney was able to do was he could play from the pocket. Rodney didn't have the, the speed, he didn't have the elusiveness, but Rodney would kill you from the pocket. And he was so accurate, but we need to at least give Rodney his flowers as well when we talk about all the, I'll say more of the game changers instead of going into black quarterbacks. So more of the game changers and uplifting the spirit of the game and where it can be. Donovan, you were an outlier. Mike, you were an outlier. They're saying all these things about you can't get it done, you can't read a defense, you can't do that. And it's not just about being a black quarterback. You know, I, I feel like I truly haven't even done anything yet. You know, I, I've had a great example in front of me to come out here and um, just kind of remain steadfast and go you know, just attack, you know what I'm saying? I truly try and stay in the moment, but, you know, you talk about people don't like to, you know, I don't know how I want to say it. <laughs> they don't like to be wrong? They, they don't, don't want like to be proven wrong? They don't want to, you know, they don't want to, they don't like to be woken up. There you go. Let me add to that. I'm going to add to it because yeah. I'll say what you really want to say because yeah. I ain't afraid to say it. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know how to do what we do, yeah. then you can't tell people how to do it. That's a tough job. And so... Prime example, what you're doing right now is glorifying the ability to play inside, outside, read the game, see the game, answer the question. And then for those who want to be the analytical aspect of, of the coaches, you're proving that you can do it on third down. Yes. But they never want to give you the credit because it's too much for them to say, I was wrong. You talk about the the box or, you know, people are trying to put you in or yep. um, the, the label of a dual threat quarterback. You mm -hmm. know, Brian Johnson, my quarterback coach, he brought this up to me. He was like, you know, uh, people, people don't realize how smart you are. You know, I never, I'm, I'm not that guy to talk about. Because you just want to get talk better, about right? I'm just trying, I'm always focused on taking the next step to growth. Yep. Um, but he has said, you know, people don't understand how important it is. Like, you're, you're, you're a triple threat quarterback. Mm. And you had mentioned it with the mind, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can make the throws. Yep. Um, I can make the runs, mm -hmm. uh, do that when I need to. But, be poised. Um, you you, you got you to be poised, but you got to know what you're doing and you got to yeah. understand what you're seeing. And that yes. was the third threat, yep. you know, and I feel like, you know, that that's, that's the most important threat, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the most important one. And Don, like four consecutive NFC championship games. Yeah, like, and a Super Bowl. You, the Super Bowl, you, you're the most accomplished quarterback in Philly history, right? And some people still don't want to give you credit for that. How did you have to deal with that, specifically being a black quarterback in Philadelphia? They say he's always having a good time, he's never serious. And when you don't look like them, you don't sound like them, or you don't play like them, there's nothing good that you can say positive about. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so I never let that affect me. People don't understand how tough this position is. Yeah. 
for all us to be sitting right here and to be successful at that, like I just, you know, I know being in the room with with Don for a couple for a couple for a year or two, like I seen how smart he was as a football player. I'm like, now nah, I got to take it another step. I got to take it to the next step, and I got to pass that same information down to you know without the next quarterback to come yeah. in this room and you know it was, it was always the each one teach one mentality for us and then Jalen listen to that you're in a whole new world social media everything going on yeah. you might have more distractions honestly yeah. than some right. of us had back right. in our day how have you handled not just being a quarterback in Philly but being the black quarterback in Philly oh man I've uh, yeah I, I've I've experienced a ton of different emotions playing playing the position and playing the game Mm -hmm. So it's real black and white for me. If I want to accomplish accomplish something, I gotta I gotta work for it, right. you know. And you know, I, I learned the importance of, of character. The, learned the importance of respect and treating people right, you know. And it's kind of funny to me. I, I don't talk about it much, but it's kind of funny to me, you know. When people ask me about, I'm just so surprised you handled that situation like. <laughs> like in a, <laughs> yeah, like, so like well. 30 years old. Oh, like, uh, don't even start. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why, why are you surprised? You right. know what I'm saying? You done proved a lot of people yeah. wrong because a lot of people didn't believe that you can get to this point. And if this meeting conclude right now, or this sit down, you doing what you're supposed to do, bro. And, and we always supported you from afar and can, we'll continue to do that. I seen the potential. I just say that. <laughs> I appreciate the legendary quarterbacks of Philly uh, giving, me, giving me my flowers and uh, you know showing that respect. but. I ain't, I ain't even did nothing yet, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just I'm just taking it one day at a time.